Hello everyone, this is the pre-market report video for today, 11th October 2024 for the new stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. We know yesterday there were a lot released in the aftermarket. Quickly let's discuss first about the US inflation and then we can discuss about TCS Q2 results in detail and its probable impact. First, US consumer inflation for September month. Just for info, last night US market opened at 9.30 am Eastern time and the consumer inflation data released before in the morning at 8.30 am itself. So before their market opening, US investors got enough time to understand it. So then at 9.30 am, S&P 500 opened gap down but the short covering helped it to reclaim its day's loss. But again US market had the sell off so last night was very eventful. And in one sentence about this consumer inflation data mostly it's a non-directional neither positive nor negative but leaning like 10 to 20 percent towards the negative side i will tell you why if required please pause and have a look as usual the top two is core consumer inflation number which means just without food and fuel whereas on the bottom it's overall inflation for september month we know always for fed's us interest rate decision core inflation is more important than the overall one since the volatile lady on food and fuel is predominantly uncontrollable so fed don't want to include those additional volatility in their decision making to be honest they use pc inflation as that measures the consumption whereas the cpi measures the consumer bidding price but still historically investors and every government other than us fed uses consumer inflation for their interest rate decision so this too carry weightage now coming to the data in both the cases month on month basis inflation increased is same as last August month but 0.1% above the analyst expectation and that was reflected in the yearly basis as well. Core CPI increased 3.3% which was 0.1% more than the analyst expectation as well as the August month data whereas overall compared to August month 2.5% for the September month it came as 2.4%. So drop in US CPI inflation mainly comes from food and fuel. In fact, the core CPI increased compared to the previous month. Hence, overall US inflation data acceptable but the core inflation data is clearly negative. So as a whole, last night market took it as slight negative but honestly this data is more negative. However, market wanted to believe it's all okay hence the pressure was little. Just for info, the next PC inflation is scheduled to release on October 31st and the Fed interest rate decision is on November 7th immediately after the US election. Till that date on the short term basis, we can expect market to be more consolidation and more negative and sometimes more positive with a confused state. So that's the takeaway from this inflation number. In the end, last night Dow Jones decreased 0.14%, S&P 500 down 0.21% and Nasdaq down very marginally 0.04%. In case of VIX, it haven't moved much, it's still same around 21. That's the US inflation story. Now, now let's look at the TCS results. Yesterday we discussed this preview so if required please pause and have a look. In the bracket I mentioned the actual results. Sequentially the revenue expectation is to increase 2.7% and the actual value came as up only 2.6%. So revenue wise not bad very close marginally below the analyst estimation. However from the profit wise quarter on quarter basis it expanded only by 1.1% whereas the analyst expectation was expansion of massive 4.9 percent. Similarly both EBIT and EBIT margin also came as significantly below the estimation. Hence net profit wise it missed the analyst estimation massively. Regarding the Indian market impact most probably it's negative and in addition to that the attrition rate for the quarter increased to 12.3 percent from June quarter 12.1 percent. So in one sentence the results clearly missed the analyst estimation. And because of this bad results, both the IT stocks ADR, Infosys and Wipro both down around 2.5%. Whereas about the other ADRs, both banks closed inland with the Indian market. Here HDFC Bank was super positive because based on its shareholding quarterly updates at the end of Q2 FA2025, foreign shareholders increased their holdings from around 47% to 48% which market took that as positive. 
Hence, that stock ADR alone increased. But I guess it was in line with the Indian market. No fresh positive move indication. Then, in case of Gift Nifty, it was not that bad. Early morning, it closed at twenty-five thousand sixty-two. Hence, equating that with the spot market, it's indicating sixty to eighty points gap down opening. Moving on about institution again for the ninth straight session, FIA was net sellers, and yesterday in the cash market, the net sold for four thousand nine thirty crore rupees. Whereas on the other hand, for the thirteenth straight session, DIA was net buyers. Yesterday, the net bought for three thousand eight eighty crore rupees. Then in FNO market, same as Wednesday market, FIA net sold in every segment, and overall they net sold for over thirty thousand crore rupees. As a summary, US inflation data was not good. Market want to believe it's a okay data, so not sure how long it can pretend. And in addition, TCS results was not good, and also FIA started their selling spree, which tells us that we need to be little cautious. And for now, Gift Nifty indicating the gap down opening of six. 60 to 80 points. Then, as per stock open interest, Shri Cement, Sun TV, LNT, ACC, Exxon Industries, Wipro, and City Union Bank got an increase in open interest along with the negative close indicates the short build up. On the other hand, Reliance Industries, Ramco Cement, NTPC, ITC, Mother Sun, and ABB got an increase in open interest with a positive price close, which means these stocks got the long build up. Regarding the things to look out on the earnings side, Just Dial, Reliance Infra, Hathway Cable are. Some of the major companies' earnings scheduled release today. Then about macro during our market hours at 11:30 a.m. UK GDP data, UK's industrial production growth, and Germany's consumer inflation data are scheduled to release. Then in the after market hours, first India's industrial production and manufacturing output data, and then in night for US their wholesale inflation WPI data for September month are some of the important items we need to keep an eye out today. Coming technical. Nifty opened 85 points gap up, and for the second day in a row, it remained range bound, roughly between 24,950 to 25,150 level throughout the day. Finally, it closed just below 25,000 mark for another session. Thus, on the daily chart, Nifty formed a small bearish candle with minor upper shadow, which is not good. And Nifty is still closing below 50-day moving average, both simple and exponential, which is very much crucial for any near-term up. Upside movement towards twenty four thousand three fifty. On the downside, lower Bollinger Band line twenty four thousand seven fifty is the crucial support zone. And also, as explained in the previous pre market video. In order to consider as positive momentum, Nifty has to cross the Bollinger Band middle line and the 20-day moving average 25,350 to 25,500 zone. Then, in case of Bank Nifty, it opened 190 points gap up and outperformed the Nifty and closed above 51,500. Thus, on the daily chart, Bank Nifty formed a bullish candlestick pattern with low volume, which is positive. However, for the momentum to be positive, Bank Nifty has to cross both 50-day and 100-day exponential moving average, 51,700 to 52,000 zone, which is crucial for any further upward rally. Hence, as long as it holds below the 51,750 zone, weakness could be seen towards 51,000, then 50,750 level. Regarding the options front, the maximum call option open interest was at 25,000 strike, followed by 25,100. And twenty-five thousand five hundred, with maximum new call option rating was also at twenty-five thousand strike, followed by twenty-five thousand hundred and twenty-five thousand six hundred. On the put side, the maximum open interest was at twenty-five thousand strike, followed by twenty-four thousand five hundred and twenty-four thousand nine hundred, with maximum new put option rating at twenty-five thousand strike, and then at twenty-four thousand nine hundred and twenty-four thousand five hundred. Thus, from options data, it's indicated that Nifty might remain within the range of twenty-four thousand five hundred. Hundred to twenty-five thousand five hundred in the short term, with twenty-five thousand appearing to be a crucial level for direction going forward. The immediate resistance is at twenty-five thousand hundred, while support is at twenty-four thousand nine hundred level. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video, so it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this. As my dear Sebi Research Advisor, I am doing this for me and viewers' educational. Purpose only. Thanks for watching.